up guys, it is Aprilia here again and today we're going to be taking a look at this new AI video generator by ByteDance known as CDance 1.0 which is currently being ranked number one in both image to video but also in text to video beating out Google's VO3 which is crazy. And the even more crazier part is that you can actually generate many videos as you like without no limitations on the Dreamina platform. There's only going to be Q on these videos, nothing else, no credits, nothing. But there's a little bit of caveat, which is that currently the video generator service is actually behind a region block and you can bypass this like I'm doing right now with a VPN. The one that I recommend getting is NordVPN because it's pretty affordable and it's gonna be working with a lot of things like Netflix and HBO Max and other services and obviously in the future and currently there are a lot of different AI services which are actually region blocked to only Chinese people or only to Americans or only to people in UK, etc. So these VPNs come out very handily and you can find the link down below in the description to basically sign up for NordVPN and obviously helping me out in the process. But now let's actually look into what this can actually do as of right now. So we're going to be looking into some of the videos that have been generated out uh, with this service. And there's a lot of um, different variations. Uh, currently everything is being prompted out in 720, which is pretty good. And there are either five seconds or 10 seconds. And there is an HD upscaling feature, which doesn't seem to be working with VPN or with anything right now. Maybe if you are actually subscribed, you can use the HD feature. But like if you look at this, for example, this looks very, very impressive in my opinion. There are a lot of very good quality content that has been um, generated so far uh, with this tool. And I have to say that there are definitely shots done in VO3, which are better. And VO3 is definitely better at doing audio, but obviously we can do both processing uh, when it comes to audio uh, generation. And I actually don't believe that all of this footage that we're going to be looking at here today is actually done uh, with the latest versions. But uh, there's a lot of things that you can do. It can understand multiple different styles. But how closely is it actually following the prompt instructions is another thing. And there has been also talk about of actual um, by dance, uh, at least in some websites, there is the C Dance 1.0 Pro. And currently, there are two options there is Video 3.0 and Video S2.0 Pro. And I'm not sure, like, what is really the fundamental difference between the two. The other one is saying that this is realistic motion, and the 3.0 is more like complex prompts. And I did prompt out a lot of like random obscure uh, instructions of uh, alongside with camera instructions over here. And I have to say that it's not really following them at closely, but at least in here, for example, it is giving them human eyes, these butterflies over here. And the motion of the butterflies are not like totally bad or anything like that. And I guess it's just trying to like give them mouths as well. You can see it here, it's like a mouth or something. But it looks kind of weird, and obviously this prompt altogether was very weird. So chat GPT are kind of weird or whatever. Uh, let's look into uh, some of the other ones. Here we have a late night diner with a floor to ceiling mirrors show reflections of people not present in the screen. Some uh, interact with the diner as real and camera blah blah blah. So as you can see, you can you can't see the people on the other side of here. They are only existing in the mirror. So in that sense, is actually following the prompt. And, but there's a lot of distortion going on on their movements and some are kind of fading here. This, this guy looks like a ghost basically, it's kind of weird, but um, it's not too bad. And the quality I have to say is not too shabby either. In terms of like how long does it get to prompt a single uh, video, I wanna say like maybe up to five minutes. As I said to you earlier, it's, since it's free, there can be many, many people uh, prompting out stuff on the platform. Here's another one in a city where asphalt turns into zebra pattern at night. Actual zebras in suits alongside human computer commuters and uh, camera ground level follow shot and actually doing that ground level shot actually very good. But none of the else is actually being followed here. It's just like, okay, zebra is here, but it's not able to understand the surrealist um, thing. And here you can also do um, frame interval and HD upscale. We can, we can look at if there's gonna be given errors. There's a ballad dancer. This turned out to be really, really weird. Uh, very disfigured, not very good at all. I think it's somewhat like, it's not able to, un it has to like some type of grasp of like what is going on with this, because I like this is from the camera view or, sorry, helicopter view. 
Um, it's not too bad, but in terms of like, it kind of tries to do it right, but then again, it's kind of failing on the uh, anatomy of, of the human body. Here we have some cats, um, well, a circle of wise men with large expressive cat heads debating. And well, once again, like um, the church TBT kind of fucked it up because it's trying to do these weird camera things, which are not really matching up with the prompt itself. It would be interesting to just do it without the camera stuff. But um, in terms of quality, it's not actually too bad. Something really weird is happening on the background of this wall. I don't know why, but uh, it is kind of interesting. But here, the, the close-up shot is actually pretty damn good quality. So I, I'm going to look at looking at that as a very good. We have a Lego Star Wars set. Well, it's somewhat of a, uh, <laughs> I don't know, like uh, somebody who stole Darth Vader's helmet and um, has some weird type of a Tusken Raider walking stick, which is trying to do some type of trick with, uh, I don't know. I don't know what that is trying to be. But everything on the background is actually looking like a Lego set. This could be um, an interior of um, any of like any of the Star Wars ships. So it's actually not too bad, um, and it's a pretty uh, obscure prompt. So I actually did like what, what was happening here. Uh, here we have a Bionicle playing at a casino. Well, this is not a Bionicle. It looks like more like Common Rider actually, but this is pretty damn close. It's on casino. The chips are uh, falling a bit badly. There's some disfigurement over here. Uh, the color of the chip seems to be also changing. There's something weird moving here, but I actually like it. Uh, aside from the chips being not consistent, the background also is pretty okay. Given out that it's just like the background, which has no instructions whatsoever, so um, this one turned out to be pretty good. Um, but once again, like I have to say that you really need to get uh, really well with the prompts and obviously have all the time in the world, as there's no prompt, uh, there's no um, credits in this platform, so you can prompt as much as you want. Here we have a whale swimming in the clouds. Well, it's, it's swimming in the ocean. I wanted to swim in the clouds. Maybe I should have said it's flying on the clouds. So um, maybe my prompt sucked. And you can also add actually three seconds um, to some of these videos. I don't know what is the criteria to add more. Now we have some, th all those things that you just saw didn't have any reference images. Now we're gonna go into things that have reference images. Here's a thumbnail from yesterday's video uh, about an elf. And actually, this is pretty good. The quality is good. There's a bit of snow uh, flaking around. You can see a bit of the blurriness, but this could be definitely HD upscaled. But fundamentally, like, yeah, it's it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Uh, let's go into the next one. Um, we have a panda marching throughout the jungle while carrying a human. Well, the panda is not really moving. Um, actually, there's two different variations that I made out of this, and the other one actually turned out to be really much better. But um, the movement still seems pretty realistic, like the way it's turning head and the whole body movement and the human is kind of responding a bit into the, the arms are not, but the head is actually like popping a bit as the panda moves. And I actually like this. So this was pretty good in that sense, but, but there's a better version. And here I have a vampire girl screaming. Well, this is just a rotating face thing. And well, it's not really screaming her, it's, her mouth is not moving, but okay. And then I tried to do... So as you can hear, that was definitely not uh, actual scream sound. So the AI audio generation for this, very bad, very bad, not, not good at all. Is nowhere near what I basically wanted to do. So um, th that was really bad. Now here we have um, another variation of the panda and here it's basically gazing um, you know, this is actually not the one that I really, really liked. This one actually does what we really wanted to do in the first place. So the panda is marching toward the jungle. It's blinking an eyes a bit. The, 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 the legs are moving. We can't see the fourth leg, which is probably not very good. And the other, the, 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 um, the foot on the back is <laughs> going at a different pace. Like it's like playing a drum center or something. There isn't really that much movement on the human, but the, the head is, uh, the hair is moving on her body. So it may be not really able to distinguish like the arms of the human because there's the, the armor is similar to the of the body of the panda, the armor the panda is wearing. But it's not too bad. And then I got um, this uh, character from old school um, game called Legend of Dragoon, and this was like well, I went the flapping wings while she's charging, played with magic, and there's just some there a glimmer in the blade, but is she really charging it exactly? Not really. And the wings are not flapping, they're more like being affected by the wind, which is actually happening to the uh, hair as well, so that's not too bad. And then lastly, we have a couple of goth walking, I think we showed this on a Sora video or something like that. 
and this is not very good. So Goff walking down the street while tilting her head slightly to the left and right. And this was done on two different, so this is video S2 and then I tried with the video 3.0. So in the video 3.0, it's actually looking realistic. She's moving, walking, a little bit more like a catwalk walk, but she's not actually moving her head, head to right. Slightly maybe moving, but it's not actually looking at those directions, which probably should have been in the actual prompt. But what I have to say is that there are definitely things, apparently there is a daily usage limit, so correction what I said earlier, but let me actually try this. Is it gonna be giving me the same error here? Yeah, so okay, there's a limitation for day, but at least it's free and you can prompt out quite a lot of videos, as you can see, we did a lot of variations here. This is like 15, 20. Almost. So the quality is pretty good. People, um, I think I always recommend looking at what other people are doing here. Somehow these other people's prompts are a lot more blurrier. They don't even feel 720. This one also feels like 480 more like. So um, maybe these are not updated with the latest model. This is not showing us like what model they were using over here. What are actually the, uh, the things. But there are things that are done here that actually looked impressive. There was a one Medusa thing, which I wanted to show you guys, but I can't seem to find it anymore on the front page. But I think it's maybe not as good as VO3. I don't know why it's being ranked out there. Maybe people are like um, ranking it based on uh, the version of, um, you know, like the pro version or something like that. And maybe like HD upscaling the full potential of this. This one also looks kind of pretty okay. But I think like if you're gonna be using image reference, you're gonna be getting a lot more higher quality. And obviously there's a HD upscaling feature, which seems to be behind a paywall. And as always, there's gonna be invite links down below to the the platform and to NordVPN, which is gonna be getting access to the video generation. As I said earlier, anybody can basically access to the image generation on this platform for free. That's not region blocked, only the video stuff. And I believe they're gonna be soon launching the music generation. And I believe there's also the lip syncing thing but i don't even want to try it out given out uh <laughs> some of the other things we're not really looking good in terms of the audio but uh, thanks for watching guys stay tuned for next review and i will be seeing you very very soon cheers